Hello everyone, in today's video we will look at randomizing actions with the action pack 1 asset for Game Creator. Creating random behavior actions is essential if you want to create an open world game that doesn't feel as static. What we're going to do today isn't quite the same as for example the Radiant AI system in Skyrim, but you can achieve similar results with a couple of easy actions. In order to do this we will need Unity, Game Creator and the action pack 1 asset. Before we start though, I would like to of course thank all of my Patreon supporters for the absolutely amazing support. So for this scene I'm using my default player here. We have um, my default enemy AI as well with his patrol area. Now the action randomizer is not intended for behavior per se, it's just, well you can use it for everything. So for example, if I'd be using my parkour scene, I could randomly play different animations depending, well, not depending on anything when vaulting, for example. Now for this video, I'll focus on the behavior and specifically patrolling. I think this is definitely going to be one of the best use cases where you can use the random actions as I think it's definitely easy for any project that you'd be able to duplicate your characters around the world but still have them behave differently. Now if you've seen a couple of my videos I've often duplicated the characters and the result you get is basically this. So let me duplicate them and once they are duplicated and I hit play you will see the same patrol behavior on all of them. And that makes sense because that's the one that's set up. And even though they're in different positions, they'll all take the same routes, take the same stops. You know, they'll move exactly at the same moment, same time, same everything, just in a slightly different position. Now in the intro, you saw them walking in different directions and these were just duplicates of each other. So the way we go about this is we still have our patrol plus here. I'm going to hit duplicate. I'm going to remove my markers here and we're going to duplicate this four times. We'll set up four different patrols. And all of the markers are cleared because I removed the children. So that's good. We can do that again going to remove everything in the parent so in patrol plus itself and we're going to do random and you have different options here I'll go over the difference in a bit let's just first set this one up so drag in one two four doesn't matter in which order you do it now I'm setting up patrol areas that it randomly picks from so it will still just just patrol it would be really good to have a fifth action, for example, where you can, well, where the enemy takes a break, for example, sits down, relaxes, and that's pretty much it. So that's definitely possible as well. So with the action, random action from list, you can well, pretty much select an infinite, infinite amount of actions. So the default one is limited to four. This one is limited to, well, I'm not sure if 50 is possible, but yeah, 50 is possible. So yeah, it's there's no limits. It works the same, but it even gives you a bit more options. I'll go over it in a bit. So let's just set up this first one. There we go. I'm going to drag in the markers. For the first one, I'll use the default order. I'm not going to mess with that. I think the default order is fine, obviously. And there we go. So that's the first one set up. For the second one, we're going to do use the same markers, but we are going to use a different order. So let's start with two. Nothing special here, but yeah, you get the point. Six, and we'll end with Oh, we'll end with one. There we go. For this one, we'll start with three. And 
there we go. So that one is set up as well. And let's do the last one. Number four. And there we have it. Cool, so four actions. Now we have this set up, so the patrol will randomly pick one. Wait to finish has to be on, and there we go. Now the whole point of this, for me personally anyway, is that I can easily duplicate characters and yet they'll still behave in a different way. So I personally prefer setting one enemy or one NPC up with really good behavior, pretty elaborate, and then be able to duplicate him and still get different results when you actually are in the play world. So let's give this a try. Now obviously there's only four actions, so 25% chance they'll still pick the same one. That's what happens here, so when you look at the middle one and the one on the right, they still pick the same one. So, you know, complicating the list, making the list bigger will obviously create better results. But we're hitting play again, and even if some of them play the same ones, you'll see that the nice thing is that they'll also play different ones. So this, now they're all, well, not all using different ones again, but they're playing different ones, and that's the nice thing. So if you'd, you know, visit a village, the second time you'd visit the village, you could have literally the same NPC set up, but they would randomly pick different behaviors, so have different walk patterns. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's one of the best things about this, is that it creates a more, well, more lively, realistic version. And again, hitting play and we see different behaviors. Now, only having four actions obviously gives a big chance that they'll either pick the same or well, characters will pick the same ones as well. So different characters using the same actions. Now, one way to expand upon this is using the random action from list. So I'm only using four because I only set up four, but I want to show the possibilities here. So dragging in the same ones. And if you do nothing here right now, it will well, act exactly the same as it did with the other action. But we have the option to change probability. So setting probability to 50 on just, you know, the default walking forward. You can even set it to 25, so small chance it will happen. Still need a way to finish at the end. But we can complicate this list and have 20 different actions. Now, the more actions you have, the smaller the chance it will be the same, obviously. So that's an easy way. Um, it's not really that complicated. It won't overcomplicate your project. We're still using the same markers. So you could have, well, six markers. You could have six different patrols. You could even have, you know, 24 different patrols if you wanted to, just by mixing the order. Doing that all on one character and then just duplicating the character and you'll get different results. So that's pretty cool. So let's hit play and see what happens with this one. There we go. And it's executing and, well, in this case we're using, what are we using? We're using patrol plus three here. So all of them now use different patrol behaviors and yeah, it, it looks a lot better than just duplicating them and having them all walk exactly the same. So this is pretty cool. Obviously you can complicate these things with using uh, navmash, having objects in the world which they need to avoid or walk around as well. Now, if you don't want to use navmash on every single occasion, there's a really nice little action as well, which allows you to actually toggle this off. So I'm going to grab 
Where are you? Disable nerf mesh. So you can even have disable nerf mesh in here as well. Definitely set it at the start. And in cases, so for example, where an enemy needs to pursue you and you want him to be well, to be able to leave that area, you can disable nav mesh. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice addition as well. So yeah, there you have it. Um, it's something that can be used for a lot more, obviously, but I think behavior is definitely one of the best use cases to show it off for. I think you get what I'm going for as well here. Um, I think it's definitely important to be able to simply set up a scene the easiest way possible, but you want to have at least a, a form of dynamic result. So really cool that we are able to use this. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time.